All right, what I want to do is talk to you about Norton's theorem, okay? But look, first let's draw a Thevenin equivalent circuit. With the Thevenin equivalent circuit, basically I've got my source, V Thevenin, got my resistance here, R Thevenin, and we have a circuit like this. So this is Thevenin, okay? Terminals A and B. Now the Norton equivalent circuit has a current generator. The value of the current generator is called IN for I Norton. And we have a resistor in parallel with that current generator, and that is called RN, R Norton. And here are my terminals A and B. Now these two circuits are equivalent, all right? And so look, if I put a short across this guy here, I can calculate the short circuit current, and I can say the short circuit current is what? It's equal to basically the Thevenin voltage divided by the Thevenin resistance, okay? That short circuit current is also what we would have in the Norton circuit, so it's equal to the Norton current. The Thevenin resistance is the resistance looking in at terminals A and B, and since we've got an independent source here, we can sort of zero that source and say that it is then just, of course, the R Thevenin. Okay, so that's what we see looking in there with all internal independent sources set to zero. And of course, as I look in here, zeroing the current source does what? It means we have an open, and so what we see looking in at these terminals, of course, is the Norton resistance, which of course is equal to the Thevenin resistance, okay? So look, let's take a little example here to demonstrate. All right, supposing I have a circuit like this, where we have, let's say that's 12 volts. I have my Thevenin resistance sitting over here at six ohms. I have my terminals A and B. All right, that's equivalent then to the Norton circuit that looks like this. There are my terminals A and B. And of course, this would be what? The same as the Thevenin resistance, which is six ohms. And of course, this guy here, the Norton current, well, it is the short circuit current, isn't it? Which is really this 12 volts divided by six ohms, which is what? Two amps, okay? So these two circuits, as far as terminals A and B are concerned, are equivalent. All right, let's go ahead and work with these two circuits. And we're gonna put a load resistance here, okay? That load resistance we're gonna have is four ohms, and I'm gonna put a load resistance over here, which is also four ohms, okay? So what we're gonna do is then calculate in both cases what the current in that load resistance is. And so we'll call this IL, and of course this is IL sitting over here. All right, so working with the Thevenin circuit, we can say that the load current is equal to what? Well, it's equal to this 12, isn't it? And that's divided by the sum of those two resistors, which of course is 10, which gives me what? 1.2 amps, all right? Working with this circuit, the Norton circuit. All right, I wanna find the current IL. So what is that? Well, this is current division, isn't it? And so I can say that the load current then is equal to what? Take the opposite resistor, which is six. I'm gonna divide that by the sum of the two, which is 10, and I'm gonna multiply that by the two. And if we work that out, what do we get? Well, we get the same current, which is 1.2 amps, okay? We could talk about the power. And I think you're gonna see it's exactly the same. Power dissipation in the load resistance is the same. So I can say the power in the load then is what? 1.2 amps, that squared, multiplied by four. And that gives me 5.76 watts. And of course, if we did the same over here, the power in the load, of course, is that 1.2 amps squared multiplied by four, which is of course 5.76 watts. Okay, all right, so really as far as these terminals are concerned, this circuit, okay, behaves exactly the same as this circuit, and that's as far as the two terminals are concerned. So we can make a statement, and we can say that the two circuits, all right, so the two circuits, 
are equivalent, with respect to what happens at the terminals A, B, their equivalent. All right, now I'm going to ask you a question. What happens inside? internally. Okay, so what happens internally? That is, if I put a box around this guy here, okay, and I put a box around this guy over here, what is happening inside the box in this case? What is happening inside the box in this case? Is it going to be different? Let's have a look. In the Thevenin circuit over here, let's look at the power dissipation in this Thevenin resistance, okay? So we know the current, uh, this is IL. IL we found to be what? 1.2 amps, okay? So the power dissipated in this Thevenin resistance, we use our little subscript there, uh, TH, is equal to this 1.2, uh, that's squared and multiplied by six. If we work that out, that comes out to be 8.64 watts. All right, let's look at the Norton circuit, all right? So we really want this current here, do we not? Okay, so this current here, uh, this is, let's say I, we could use current division again, and we could say the current I is equal to what? The opposite, four divided by the sum of the two, which is 10, and of course that's multiplied by the two amps sitting over here, and that current is equal to 0 0.8 amps. So the power then dissipated in the Norton resistance, that's the Norton resistance there, I'll put a little subscript N, is equal to what? It's equal to that current, 0 0.8 squared, and that's multiplied by six, and that gives us a power dissipation of 3.84 watts. All right, so what are we seeing here? Well, as far as terminals A and B are concerned, in both circuits, they're equivalent. So the behavior here in this four ohm resistor with the Thevenin equivalent is the same as the behavior here in this four ohm resistance with the Norton circuit. Internally though, there is a difference. The power dissipation in the Thevenin resistance is different to the power dissipation in the Norton resistance. And so, look, that's something that's actually worth noting, okay? So I want to give you a problem here, something to think about, all right? Now, it's just a hypothetical situation. Let's supposing I had a Norton circuit. Here it is. And I'm going to say that's 10 amps, pretty big current, all right? And let's put in the Norton resistance over here. And we're going to say that that's 100 ohms, that resistor, okay? So if that were my Norton circuit, that's terminals A and B, what would the Thevenin circuit look like? Well, here is the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistor sitting here, terminal A, and of course, terminal B. All right, what's the value of that resistor? Yeah, it's gonna be the same as the Norton resistance, 100. Now, what's the value of this voltage source sitting over here? Well, how do we find it? It's the open circuit voltage. So if I know the information for the Norton circuit, I can easily get the Thevenin. So it's the open circuit voltage. What's the voltage I would see here? Well, where's that 10 amps going? It's actually going straight through that 100 ohm resistor. And so the voltage it develops across it would be, what, 10 times 100. It means that this voltage here is 1,000 volts, okay? Huge voltage. As I say, it's just a hypothetical problem. Okay, supposing I now put these two circuits in a box. So there it is, a box. And I'm gonna put this guy in a box as well. All right, now let's imagine that we really built this guy and that we really built this guy over here. We have no way, let's say, of opening the box. Is there any way that I could tell the difference between this circuit and this circuit over here? Now, 
remember, I cannot get in the box. In either case, I can't get in the box. Okay? I only have access to the physical box, access to the physical box over here, and of course I have access to these two terminals over here. So is there any way I could tell the difference? Okay? Now it's a bit of a trick sort of problem. It's a bit of an outside way of thinking, but just have a consideration here. See if you can think about maybe there's some practical way that you could see a difference really, or identify which is the Norton circuit and which is the Thevenin circuit. I'll leave that problem with you.